Okay, Corbin here, and I'm going to talk about making my uni handlebar that I'm going to be using for the Arizona Trail. So what I did is I took my old handlebar off, and I cut off the front tee because I didn't like it. And what I'm doing is I'm using a couple different files to file down a fish mouth shape in the front of the bar so I can have a little bit of a riser. I'm comparing the distance to my old KH36 frame that I made because I really like how it works out. So I'm going back and forth using some tape to tape on the bits and eventually I need to cut the front bits so here's the front uh, sort of T replacement that I'm going to be making. Next I toss it over onto my brazing table put a little bit of flux onto it so I can braise it together with brass and get it to stick really well. This is some standard chromoly steel that I'm using. I grab all my torch accessories and then kick it over, fire it up, and I'm going to start doing some brazing. Brazing is a nice technique to hold two metals together. It creates a nice strong weld and it's pretty easy to do. So here I am just brazing it together to get that angle that I like for my wrists, a lot more like a mountain bike angle. Afterwards, I need to have the riser have a fish mouth into it. So I need to cut a fish mouth into a little vertical piece. So again, I'm just going to use some files, file down, test, file, test, until I actually get it to be the proper angle that kind of fits it really well and nice. And this just takes a little bit of time, and eventually it will fit nice and pretty, pretty smooth into the slot there. Then I flip over to the actual V portion of the handlebar and I kind of clean it up with some files and some emery cloth, get to look a little bit smoother and nicer so when I braise it together it will have a nice flat surface to attach to it. It might have been better to do this first to compare it to the, uh, the slot a little bit more even. I get it all set up in a nice jig using some magnets on my table and then I fire the torch back up to do some brazing get it all together. So the brazing part's not all that interesting. Cover parts with flux pretty well adequately. Keep the flux up until it sort of turns clear and then you braze it together. I'm not that good at brazing. I'm still a fairly beginner at it because I haven't done all that much, but they tend to hold together pretty well. Afterwards, I use tape to kind of get a feel for how I want it to be and to make sure it's the right angle so I can stick it onto my unicycle's seat post and kind of figure out hey is this really what I want and after I do that I can kind of test it put it on the unicycle see okay does this feel like the right spot the right angle do I want further once I get it to exactly where I want it then I set it back on the welding table and braise it all together Brazing is lots of fun. It's great to put two pieces together. After I braze it together, I cut off the bottom portion so it didn't have to stick down as much. And here it is mounted on the unicycle. I cut out the part where I added this round circular brake protector onto it. The brake protector is really nice because if the unicycle falls down in the front, I can have it drop down and it won't break the brake which is super nice. So this is what I'm planning on using for the Arizona Trail, and we will see how well it works. So far I've been doing some test rides with it, and I like it a lot. Thanks. Bye.